Yeah, I will uh, just uh, emphasize what has already been said, so I will try to do it succinctly. Uh, the single supervisory mechanism, or European banking supervision, as the ECB calls it, is a spectacular success of European Union policy. Uh, when you think of the situation we were in 10 years ago, a bit before this uh, came into force, you remember the asset quality review of the banks. I'm not even mentioning the situation of Greece at that point. Uh, we've gone such a long way, and I think it's not just correlations. There is an element of causation here. Uh, the uh, pooling of banking supervision at the European Central Bank, at the ECB, with the work that has been done by Elizabeth and her colleagues, uh, the successive leaders of the uh, SSM, Daniel Nui, Andrea Enria, currently Claudia Buch. I think this is a success story that deserves to be celebrated more than we usually do, uh, because it has really gone according to plan. The plan was to uh, bring the European banking sector, which was in a state of extraordinary weakness in the Eurozone crisis, actually had caused the Eurozone crisis to a large extent, uh, not in Greece, but in other member states, uh, to bring that sector back to uh, safety and soundness. And I think uh, the ECB and the European Union more broadly can claim mission accomplished on that. Now, of course, as, as Elizabeth correctly said, this should not be a cause for complacency because the risks of tomorrow will be different of the risks, uh, from the risks of yesterday. But I think a, a, a nanosecond of pause and celebration for the 10-year anniversary of European banking supervision uh, is uh, in order. I will also say that banking union is a broader project than European banking supervision. And banking union is this idea that the entire framework for banking sector policy would be at the European level, which in turn would allow the banking sector to be a European banking sector and not an addition of national banking sectors uh, in the participating member states. We're not yet there. Uh, European banking supervision is a piece of that, but it's not sufficient to trigger the complete integration of the banking sector at European scale. And for that, of course, we need a, a framework for crisis intervention, including deposit insurance, but not only deposit insurance, that would be integrated and consistent at the EU level. That has been blocked by special interest in the different member states, both from the public and from the private sector. It is a shame, frankly, that there hasn't been more progress because all the political leaders uh, recognize that the banking union and also a capital markets union is in their collective interest, but when it comes to implementation, they always find obstacles from uh, special interest. So I want to emphasize both the success of the crisis prevention piece, European banking supervision, and the unfinished business of banking union uh, that, frankly, I think we should have more of a sense of urgency right now. Having said that, and I will end on that note, I think it's exaggerated to say there can be no uh, integration of the banking sector in the current circumstances without further legislation to complete the banking union. And actually, if uh, you look at it from here in essence, we see that the European banking sector or the regional banking sector is investable again. We have Eurobank buying Hellenic Bank in Cyprus. That's from the perspective of Cyprus, certainly, and also from this part of Europe, a major cross-border banking acquisition that was just confirmed a few days ago. Uh, we also have the investment of Unicredit in Alpha Bank, which shows that from the perspective of a, 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 a European bank, major European banks, the Greek banking sector is investable again. Uh, so that's a lot of news. Uh, for, uh, and, and why not, we could also see uh, uh, Greek banks expanding again, the so way they did uh, on a different basis uh, in the 90s and, and 2000s. So I think there are reasons for optimism uh, on the European banking sector. Of course, it requires policy stability and also policy initiative, as I suggested, for the completion of the banking union. But when you compare to where we are 10 years ago, um, the element of a policy success story is undeniable.